Hi, this is Larry with Larry's Bug Safari. Hey, today I'm just doing a follow-up video on the other video I had that said, uh, titled Start Here, uh, How to Prepare for Raising Chinese Praying Mantis Insects. So today I'm just going to talk about uh, the vials, the plastic vials that you could use, the yogurt cups, and the deli cups. Okay, so let's get started and I'll put the camera right on the items that we're going to work with. Okay, in my last video I talked about these one and a quarter by four inch vials that are very handy to keep praying mantises in for the first couple weeks. And right here I've got it shown where just a basic vial and when you want to provide moisture, remember you spray just above the vial. So then only a few droplets go into the vial and so the mantis doesn't drown. Another option is to use a Q-tip, and whenever you're ready to uh, provide some moisture, you can just slide the, tap, the cap out, dip it in a little bit of water, and then put it right back in. That's another method to do. And then the third method I've done before is uh, use some aquarium gravel, and I just put a little water in the bottom, uh, almost to the top of the aquarium gravel, and that provides uh, humidity, and a little moisture if the mantis decides to go down for for uh, drinking that. Okay, now uh, some friends asked me about uh, handling these little vials and what you do with uh, preventing them from falling over. And yes, they are easily uh, tipped over. So um, a few years back, I picked up a little gift box for handkerchiefs and cut some holes in the top. And so now I've got a handy dandy tray that holds all my uh, vials. Uh, now another uh, item that comes up, uh, the question that comes up is, well, you've got praying mantises that are solitary and now you've got one praying mantis just staring at the other praying mantis and causing them a lot of stress. You know, there's that fight or flight reflex and they can't do anything about it. They can't fight and they can't run away because they're always going to be seen. And I have a solution for that. Uh, let me show you that. All right, my solution is to just cut some paper out um, and drop it in between the vials, and that way the praying mantises don't see each other and nobody's stressed, and that's how that works out. Um, you can also pick up maybe, uh, this is a container of some, some perfume, a pretty heavy box, and I just drilled holes in there to hold those vials. So that's a couple options you can do to hang on to your vial so they don't tumble all over the table. Next, let's move on to the yogurt cup. Okay, again, here's a couple samples of yogurt cups. I, I, like, I like the nice hard lids. Those I can cut off the top and then insert our glue with a hot glue gun, this mesh material, and that works out great. One of the things I like to do is uh, spray paint my yogurt cups. You can get creative and spray half brown and half green, but that's just another example. Um, one handy thing to carry these items around in is a paper box tray. It works out great when you want to uh, travel around uh, your work location, and uh, it's very easy to pick up and go. I like that. I like that box. And now let's move up to those deli cups that I talked about. All right, there's our handy dandy deli cup with the uh, cutout top. There's that fabric right here. That's a nice fabric to use. Whoa, let's try to open that up. Okay, so you got the idea of what that fabric is like. And uh, also I got into the knack of spray painting. Here's a deli cup with a hole cut out the top and the sides. Maybe a brown one and a green one. And what I did is I sprayed half the container with brown. And that way I can line up praying mantises one after another. And they don't see each other and it doesn't cause any undue stress. Uh, so this tray I've got eight. I just got some containers upside down just to for spacing. And that's what I do once again with the cardboard uh, lid from a case of paper. All right, so there you have it. The uh, vials, yogurt cups, and the deli cups. All right, if you have any questions, I appreciate any comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. Um, just an example of a couple items I've done to help 
make it easy to raise the Chinese praying mantises. And thanks for watching, and you have a nice day. Thanks for watching Larry's Bug Safari. Good day. Bye-bye.